Hi guys, this is Lee Pro here. So today we're gonna make. I'm gonna teach you how to make a dashing game or running away game. You can call it whatever you want. I don't really care. It's your choice. So let's go to costume and delete costume one. As you see. Now let's go grab the mouse and and put it on top of the scratch cat and press the backspace or delete button. It's oh my god. So we're gonna you you can for your character you can make it a you can make it a line you can make it a square you can make it whatever you want it's your choice but for the thing I'm gonna put my outline to seven so you guys can see and let's go make this white let's go so um if you're new to scratch there's just something called if you shift if you press shift. It will always make the thing equal. So if I do this, it's like you can make it oval. So I'm gonna delete that. So if I press shift, shift, I'm making a perfect circle. You can make a square, perfect square, rectangle. It's technically your choice. So let's go put it in the middle. You can put eyes on it. So I'm just gonna do this with the eyes so you guys can see. And let's go name the sprite player. Because this is going to be our player. Let's go to... So let's go pull out when green flag click. So every time I press this, it will do something. So let's go get a forever loop. And make it point towards the mouse. So when I press the green flag, he's facing towards my mouse. I go, let's go quickly save now so it doesn't take a while to load. So let's go make it move. Not that fast, but three steps every single time. As you see, he is slowly but surely progressing through the place. Before I go to the next, to the next part, I'm gonna quickly grab one of a thing that might help us in the future. X and Y grid. So before we start, before we get to our enemy, let's go make it go green flag zero zero or known as origin point. So every time I press go, it always it always goes into the middle. So no matter what, it will always go to the middle. Now let's cr cr let's go create our enemy. I'll make this a square because let, let, pretend we're in a universe where circles hate squares and, or rectangles, whatever you guys choose. I'm gonna choose a square. Oh, if you press Control and to the middle, it will move where you wanted it. But since I'm gonna use Shift. Oh, let's go create a small too big. Much more better. And let's, I'm quickly going to create rectangle eyes because a square. Let's go name this one enemy. Now let's go to the code. So when we press green flag click, we're gonna make it hide. We don't want this thing to chase us, we want its clones. So it has a clone is what it says is a clone, but it has different scripts of code. So let's go create a clone. It says let's go to the forever loop and say create clone of myself. And I will say wait for three, four seconds. You can make it wait for zero, one millisecond. It's your choice. You can go insane. I'm going to choose four so it doesn't break the computer. Computer. Now let's go get out. When I start as a clone, you it won't, it won't just stand still look. When I start, it, it's just going to hang in the corner. So what we what we want is 
we wanted to show already. We need to show and have another forever loop. We're also going to create a custom block called spawn. Like what it says, we're going to create a spawn for each one of them. Let's go press OK. And let's go put spawn here. This is to choose what the script of code it is. It, it will not automatically know. So that's why we have definite spawn. Let's go put the forever loop. Forever, point, let's go back to motion. Point towards player. So, and let's go make it move uh, eight steps or I guess slow down to seven. You can choose that many steps. And I'm gonna make it wait for one millisecond. So it's not too broken. So let's go spawn. You see the square? You just go wee, wee, wee. And you see more of the spawning, but always in the corner. So now let's go create our detection system. So every time we hit them, it, we actually get caught. So let's go get if blank, then let's go get if, if this touching mouse pointer, we're not gonna do that, but enemy, then we're gonna, you can stop all, but if you wanted to make it more intense so that people can see a game over screen, I'll put a broadcast message. I'm gonna call it game over. We're gonna create a sprite for this, but not yet. Let's go definite spawn, which is, which might be the most annoying piece of code. Listen to me closely. We'll grab your variables and make a new one called spawn. You can put it for this brand only, but it's your choice. So we're gonna make set spawn, now my variables, it's useless, to random. I'm not sure why that happened. To random, one through four. If you wanna go insane, go insane, I, I don't care. So let's go get three if else blocks. And let's go get a, a, another operator that equals. So I only have three even through, so this is, so, I'm gonna show you later, like, but if this like spawn equals one, it's gonna show on the edge. And if spawn equals two, it shows on the other it shows on the other edge. Three or spawn on top, four is on the bottom. We don't have the four foot, it's because if we have four, if we have one, if we don't have one, and then it'll go if 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 we don't have one, let's see if we have two. If we don't have two, we, we go to three. If we don't have three, we go to four. Because it's already no, it's already there. So let's go grab spawn. Spawn and spawn. Now let's go get where are they gonna spawn? Grab this block, go to somewhere, somewhere on each one of them. This is where the annoying punk part comes in. So let's go get a get random block. The first two ones is for the Y. These ones are for like where are they gonna spawn on the edges? The the uh, the last two are when are they gonna spawn on the top? Wait. Let's see if I put it to zero zero correctly. Close. So let's go create this 240. Like I showed here. As at the beginning, this will be important later. So, if if it goes to forty, it will automatically spawn over there or spawn on the edge. Let's look quickly show our enemy. It will spawn here. But we wanted to, we don't just want to spawn there and go to a random and you know why. So that's why we're creating the random y negative one eighty. Two one eighty. So it's now gonna choose if I spawn here, spawn here, or spawn up here, or anything in between. So you have 
a whole entire spawn area dedicated to that one thing. Now, same thing here, but to minus 240. Because we wanted to spawn over here. Let's go make this negative 180. And 180. Now, this is going to be the top. We're going to spawn this one on the top, so we're going to make this one 180 for future plannings. If you don't want to, if you want to make it quicker, only one of these. Cold command on it. And it's going to say, oh, well, <laughs> I can't do it, but if you can duplicate them to make them way much more easier if you're having problems already. To go grade minus 240 to 240. So it spawns on top anywhere. Let's go here. Minus 240 to 240. Now let's just spawn it anywhere. Now let's go quickly pull out when I receive game over. This is just if you don't want to have a game over. If you want to have a great over screen, you need this. Press hide. So you don't see your character and stop all. It's going to, like I said, it will stop every single piece of code. So if we go here, let's go quickly, go do this. It hides and it stops all. So let's go create a new one, paint. So this is where I, you can go very optional. You can keep it like this. So you see, we I'm clicking through the things. This one, if you only want on one color, but this, if you want to have a multicolor, goes up and down. This is gonna be the one I'm on right now. Um, the left one will always be halfway, always to the left, and the other side will be halfway to the right. This is up and down. Half of middle be white. Half the rest of it will be black. This one, it's a you have the white in the middle and the black around it. I'm going to use this one and make it blue. Because it does not like some in interesting colors. So let's go quickly zoom out. And let's go create a, a giant square rectangle. Oh, and I forgot to take away the outline. Because we don't want no outline. So we're gonna write in text game over in red in in black so people can see it. I'm gonna put on cap locks quickly. I'll make this bigger we is showing the player that's game over. Let's go quickly group the whole entire thing. Okay, there we go, in the middle. Now, let's go click this. Let's go quickly ungroup it. Now click this. And if you want, you can change it. I like it like this better. So what, what, this is one of a important piece of code if you don't want this in the middle of your screen. When green flag click, it will automatically hide. That means you won't see this big boy with this thing anywhere. And let's go make it to zero, zero, if you want. And remember to hide the variable for, so your people doesn't know. I forgot to tell you that. So the people who are playing don't know that's in the corner. So now let's go to event. And when I receive game over, so. One reason why I don't want this as a backdrop, and if you want to guys be creative, you can make it fade in, like, boom, game over. Now let's go start. Now, that's weird. Oh, yes, I forgot. Every time it starts, we have to press show. Wait. <laughs> there we go, much more better. So every time we press it, we see it. So let's go press green flag. Oh, here we go. Ooh, running away. Wee, wee, wee. Now let's go kill ourselves. 
game over right there in her face. And um, that's kind of all for the tutorial. So, if you guys learned something new, good job. I'm sorry about that. And um, it, it's for my it's my kids. And if you wanna, if you want more, please subscribe and like. And if you learn something new, good job. Leap her out.